Representatives from Casa, Maryland say this never should have happened. A man is picked up on a routine traffic stop. Turns out he had an expired visa. He was ultimately brought here to the Howard County Detention Center where, because of an oversight, they say, guards here turned him over to ICE officials in Baltimore City. And now this man is fighting to stay in this country after being here for more than eight years. Tengo miedo a una deportación. I'm scared of being deported to El Salvador. There is a lot of insecurity in my country. The insecurity is strong, it's everywhere. I'm scared of being separated from my family, my three-year-old daughter who's here. My Speaking through an interpreter at his home in PG County, an ICE GPS monitoring unit on his ankle, William Garcia Trejo speaks of the fear he is currently experiencing. On Sunday, September 27th at around 7.30 a.m., Howard County police pulled him over for talking on his cell phone on I-95 near the rest area. An officer arrested Trejo on a failure to appear warrant for driving without a license. The next day, his mother posted $400 bail, but he wasn't released. Despite not having a detainer or removal order with ICE, he was put in their custody. Nada en mi record de migración. The ICE agent that was there processing me even asked me, what am I doing here? I have nothing on my record with ICE. He got out, but with that ankle monitor and faces a removal proceeding on October 29th. Without something in place as the Trust Act, as, as a local bill defining what the policy is, this is going to continue to happen. Garcia Trejo's attorney says local trust legislation that exists in neighboring counties needs to be put in place. Recently, the Howard County Council voted to end its contract with ICE, but County Executive Ball vetoed the bill. Ball spokesperson told us through a statement, quote, this incident is unfortunate and should not have occurred. Our Department of Corrections has apologized to William Trejo and his family through their attorney for this mistake. Over the past year, we have worked with CASA and other immigrant rights advocates to improve our policies and be transparent about our processes. We will continue to work collaboratively and to ensure that incidents that happen to William Trejo do not continue to occur at the Howard County detention center. Garcia Trejo's attorneys say that they are hopeful that they will eventually be able to work all of this out. However, they make it clear it will be a long and uphill battle. In Jessup, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.